explore this God Allah, the Muslims they worship. You agreed he's a shin. You agreed he have parts. Okay. Tell us about the other parts of Allah and how they are attached to the shin. The shin of Allah attached to what? Your mind. Hi, room for all the Muslims in the room. Uh... Mr. Answer, please. Did I give you the mic? I'm talking to Mr. Saifullah, and I will give you the mic after I finish with him. Please, don't jump. You sound a nice guy, by the way. Saifullah, the mic is yours, and please don't, for, no, don't force me to give you a thought. Let us finish the topic, and we move to a different topic. The shin of Allah is attached to what? Your mind. First of all, Bully, let me speak. And I see you follow the Quran because you say the Quran calls names, so I can. Not the Bible, turned out their cheek. So you are a Muslim, alhamdulillah. Second, I never said. <laughs> My understanding for turning the cheek, it means I slam you. This is how I understand it. Turn the cheek, it means I slam it to you back. So for me, when I see a Muslim, if he slam my face, I will beat the hell of him. No, we don't turn the cheek, not for evil. When Jesus he spoke about turning the cheek, it's not for the evil ones. It's for someone who have a blood as a human, not for satanic people. If you turn your cheek to Muslims, do they respect that? They think you are a coward. They will take advantage of you because they are evil. Their God is a shin. Now answer. Allah the shin. His holiness, the shin, holiness. Please guys, everybody in the room. Put a rose for the shin of Allah. I will start me myself. You see how much we respect your God? Here we go. This is a rose for the shin of Allah. The shin of Allah is attached to what? Your mind. Don't cut him off so he can answer you, okay? Assalamu alaikum. I see you make up your own Bible because it said offer the other cheek, not slam the cheek. So you make up Bible. You make up things. You're a liar. Uh, Turkey, are you okay? Are you okay? No, I'm explaining to you the Bible. We don't turn the cheek for Satan. We turn turn the cheek for people who they are good. We are allowed to defend ourselves. And we are allowed to fight back. Jesus, he was saying, don't be evil. Not like of Turkey each time you come to the mic. Go oh mic. Actually, and learn your Bible says if they come for your coat, give them your shirt. If they smack your cheek. True. But we can't do that to the Muslims. Because Muslims are thieves. This is to give it to the poor. To the one who need it. Not to the thief. If a thief, he put a knife in my neck, he want to take my coat, I will cut his arm. This is about giving, not taking. I give it. You don't force me to give it. Now answer your cow. Yes, do you see that this coward, he don't want to answer? Did you notice? None of them want to answer. The shin of Allah, they agreed that Allah have parts. Allah have parts. Amazing. Discovery. I love it. Allah have a shin. They agreed. Allah is a shin. Wonderful. Question, the shin of Allah is attached to his butt? If no, it is attached to what? Mic is open. Assalamu alaikum. I see you're a Muslim. Cut the arm of the thief. Alhamdulillah. Your Bible says turn the cheek. What? <laughs> Do you know? The Bible, he said, you know, you're not safe. Just sit down. <laughs> sit down. Where is the answer? The answer one. How are you doing the answer one? Maybe you can do better. The answer one. Your brother, he agreed that Allah have a shin. And Allah will show his shin in the judgment day. And he agreed 
that Allah have a part. Guys, all of us, we heard him saying that, correct? The one who heard Mr. Saifullah saying that, give me one. Thank you. So, the answer one. We are asking the Muslims for like half hour. Nobody want to answer for some reason. They are scared. The shin of Allah is attached to what? Or Allah is just a shin? Oh my. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm online, so don't doubt me, okay? Don't doubt me, Christian friends, because I'm online. Respect the room. Respect the rules of Paltak. When somebody raises their hand, they get the mic. First, we are Arab, sir. We are Arab. We don't respect any rules. We hijack airplanes. We hijack buildings. You know, and to be honest with you, I'm from Somalia. We are pirates. We are practicing Islam perfectly. A Muslim speaking about respect. Amazing. You know, I said, Mr. The Answer One. Are you answer one? Why you don't respect yourself, man? I say Muhammad Ahmad jump. I say Hussein Ali take the mic. What's wrong with Muslims? Mister, the answer one. Take the mic. Salam uh, Mister Prince, I hope you're doing okay. I just want to let you know if you cut me off once, if you don't let me complete my answers, you don't want to follow the rules. That's fine with me. I will leave the room, and I promise you I'll have everybody else leave the room. Okay, this is a room to debate and discuss back and forth. You can leave. You can leave. Go ahead, please. Everybody, everybody leave with answering this. Uh, uh, answer one. He will make everybody leave. Leave. Who care? We are laughing. How coward the Muslims are. You are threatening me that you cannot answer? What a big deal. This is what I am here for, to show everybody in here nobody can answer us. Muslims are people who worship a leg, and they are agreeing. Allah is a leg. Now, are you going to answer? Go answer. You don't want to answer? Don't cry. You can leave. Nobody is forcing you to stay in here for a second. This is a chat room. You close your browser, you are out. You want to cry, man. If you doubt me, I swear by Allah, if you doubt me, I will leave the room. <laughs> I'm warning you. Okay. Leave. Please leave. Please. The truth, the truth, zero one, your mic. Okay. Um, Mr. Christian Prince. Are you going to respect for people in the room or what, man? I mean, I understand you're the host. You should give us a chance to talk and have some respect like your Bible tells you to. You know, you keep doubting everybody before they even finish their sentence. Um, I don't know what your problem is, man, you know. If you want us Muslims to answer, you should give us a chance, not doubt us. We all have Muslims a right of speech just like you, man. God just because you will give them little boy slaves. Who is holding heaven? you from answering? You see why I'm giving it doubt? They don't answer! They are like you in the delivery room. They have a baby. They are breathing it. Where? Where? He's coming out. Answer. Who's holding you? Take the mic and give me the answer. Allah the shin. His shin is attached to what? Uh, the mic is yours. alaikum. I just have a question. What just wait. Just wait. Respect your brother. You think he's a goat? You are jumping him? You Muslims don't respect each other. You are jumping at your brother in Islam. Shame on you. Show respect to your brother. He's a blind even. The truth. You're mine. 